Hello, in Second Life I am known as Lauren Tone. I'd like to give you a quick uh, tour around and explanation of LEA 26 Sim, which is known as Mad Tone. It is a retrospective of uh, creations by Mad Cow Cosmos and me, uh, collaborations we did. Uh, the first thing you might want to do is hop on the dragon, which will give you a tour. A uh, more thorough tour than the one I'm about to give you. Uh, over here we have a small mock-up of a build known as Alien Isles. Uh, the original having been much larger than this, it's just uh, some examples of what's here. Um, in this little area you can uh, create your own sci uh, science fiction pardon me, um, soundtrack uh, wander around and change the sounds um, and uh, c click on various objects to uh, to edit and create sounds like this cute little guy um, next on our tour if we walk over this way let's see Ooh, I don't want to step on that oops it got me um, up here we have the Harp Ensemble, which is interactive, and you can uh, control what the instruments play by clicking on various parts of the build. Uh, it is menu-driven, so you can uh, select uh, any loops and play them or stop them. And moving right along, we go over to the singing whales. Uh, these are actual recordings of whales and uh, other uh, cetaceans. Um, they can be controlled, changed, played, and whatever you wish. It's always fun listening to whales sing. Speaking of cetaceans and underwater life, you can uh, go underwater here search around and uh, find some crazy looking creatures and uh, also uh, if you look closely enough you may find one very rare avatar to take home as a freebie up here we have the calypso clam another musical instrument that you can play um, again it is menu driven and uh, loop based so you can change the uh, music as you wish with numerous different instruments and over in this direction we have a mock-up of Las Vegas uh, these are some props from a video we did of uh, composer Eric Whitaker's uh, composition known as Godzilla Eats Las Vegas. Um, so you can watch the movie here, you can also find it on YouTube. Moving along, we come to the Mad Tone Cafe. It's a uh, lovely little cafe where you can get all kinds of goodies, you know, from coffee to beer to uh, barbecue to whatever. It's a good little place to socialize and uh, one thing you want to be careful of though is the chefs uh, because if they feel like it you may end up on the menu as advertised. Mmm, savory barbecue customers. Go ahead, fix a sandwich for yourself. Just look at that pure prime customer beef simmering in that special Yes, you don't want to become a customer burger. There's still plenty for you at the refreshment So let's center. move along How here. Um, over in this direction, hamburger. we have Start the pinball bumper car. Customers. And serve it up on an oven fresh bun. Makes your mouth water, doesn't Here you can pick up a pick up free bumper car ever. avatar, wear it, drive into the pinball machine, and get bounced all over the place with uh, loads of fun sound effects. 
Here we have the Mutant Choir, which uh, is another interactive musical instrument that, that you can control by clicking on the various characters and changing what they sing. Over in this direction, we have the Blurtophone. You can get a free one of these. Um, another interactive musical instrument that you can change the, uh, the loops on. Like so. And if that isn't noisy f enough for you, you can always head over to the Brassophone a very noisy musical instrument with lots of crazy different uh, loops built in with numerous different, um, mainly brass instruments, um, saxophones, trumpets, trombones, etc. Here is another one that is just a clickable sound effects machine. You can click on various objects to generate different sound effects. And over in this direction, we have the Evil Orchestra of Doom. Um, this plays music, and of course you can also edit it, this music. Over here we have the Steam Ballroom, which is a very large musical instrument uh, incorporating over 200 um, audio loops that I've made. Um, this is not interactive for everybody visiting, but I will be doing the occasional performance on it. Um, so, I'll be doing live shows on this machine. Coming up here, we have the House of Seven Strings, which is a live music venue. Um, we uh, have various uh, Second Life musical artists performing live here. A rather large build. And flying up above it, we have a second stage, which um, actually, usually we have the, uh, the live, second live performance group called Drum play here, given that it's a drum build. Um, you can teleport up from the ground, by the way to either of the music venues. Uh, when you land at this one, you may want to walk over to the stage area, or rather, boing over, because the xylophone is actually uh, a bit of a uh, bouncy challenge to negotiate. But it's just a bit of fun. And here, just to give you an idea of the, the size of the build, it's pretty large. I'll just zoom out and uh, zoom up a little bit so you can get uh, an idea of the size of the build. Then heading back down to ground level, which I'll do by just jumping off. We get back to ground and we'll land on the beach over here where there are some other uh, fun little interactive uh, characters that you can play with. And finally, we come to the discussion area, which is where various uh, discussions and uh, tutorials are given, mostly regarding in-world Second Life sound effects and how to employ them. So heading back to the welcome area, Again, this is not the whole build, but uh, just giving you some samples of it. 
We hope you can uh, visit the LEA Sims, all of them. There are over 20. And uh, we hope you enjoy exploring them all. Thank you very much.